my PM skincare routine. Hi guys, welcome. My name is Bobby, and welcome to Mindful Midlife. Be sure to watch till the end because at the end, I actually have something I'm going to do completely different with my skincare going forward. As you can see, my makeup's already off. So how did I get it off? I'm not gonna show you washing my face again. I've already done that a million times, but I use Clinique's Take the Day Off or another kind of balm. I like Elf's Cleansing Balm. That one's a good one. So a balm just to first get all my makeup off. Then I go in with La Roche-Posay's Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. So my face is nice and clean. The next thing I do is go in with my Tretinoin. So Tretinoin is from my, I was gonna say gynecologist. <laughs> My dermatologist, I think I've done that so many times, and I am 0.05 for my strength. And I just worked myself up to every single night on this. If you guys want to see a video on how I systematically did tretinoin and worked my way up over months and exactly how I did it so I didn't have major, major skin irritation, let me know below and I will be happy to do that kind of video for you. I take this and I literally do just a little pea size amount, put it between my fingers and I just do two dots, one above on my nose and then just work it all over my skin. I don't go close to my eyes I think between my nose is the closest I get. I stay away from the crevices here and then just work it in. I wish it was more smooth, like it would go over your face easier. Sometimes I feel like it dries quickly. While that is happening, the next thing I do is go in with the May Loves Glow Maker. This gets an extra boost of nourishment and protection from its balanced formula of vitamin C and E, ferulic acid, and sodium hyaluronic. I use this one at night. You would have seen if you watched my daytime one, I um, do a different one in the morning, only because I feel like it's a little bit more hydrating. So I do that over my tretinoin. The next thing I do is I go in with my grande brow and grande lash and I just let this sit for a second. So I know that there is a little bit of, I need to bring this close to me, a little bit of a controversy about these kind of serums and it's not for everybody, but these have made a world of difference with my lashes and my brows. So. I know that there is a doctor out there who has said that this will cause darkening around your eyes. And I do know that that is true because my daughter, Rachel, actually had that happen to her. She has stopped it on her eyelashes. I have not seen it at all. Like I, my eyes are the same color they were before. So I think it's just a personal thing that's happening and you need to watch it. Um, so she stopped it for a couple weeks just to make sure that it's going to go away. And I don't know if she's going to start it again. I think I'm encouraging her to not start it again. But she's an adult. She'll make her own decision. Okay, so I have been using this for more than a year, I would say. And I believe this is a major factor in my lashes and my brows looking so much better. The next thing I do is I put on an eye cream. This is the Ole Eyes Retinol 24 Max Night Eye Cream. And I've been using this, I'd say a couple months. Um, it's a low dosage, so obviously it's not gonna do anything major, but I like it because it does have retinol on it and I want something like that on my eyes and it had really good reviews and I heard a um, dermatologist even say this was good. So I rub it in all over under my eyes because you don't put your tretinoin in this area. Okay, so I let that sink into my skin for a few minutes. I love the hydrator. This is intense hydration as you can see. I don't use a ton of this because this 
has really good slip to it and it it just goes on your skin so easily and it's kind of sticky the next thing i use is the city beauty ultra firming dry oil and this is for my neck so this is newer to me this is neck and decla declage <laughs> treatment probably about half a dropper i was doing a full dropper when i first got it and it was just way too much i don't need all that and you put it low and you work it up till it's all the way soaked in city beauty actually recommends following up with the multi-action sculpting cream so i take about that much and i start it low <laughs> if you guys can see that i work it into my decollege and then work it up so i don't know results yet i will let you guys see results i took a before picture and once i've used this for a while i will fill you guys in on whether i think this works or not i mean i'm not looking for miracles i know i'm not going to have a 20 year old neck again but i'd like to see it just be a bit firmer and maybe prolong until i get really really saggy <laughs> Okay, then I go in on my face with the Ordinary's Rosehip Seed Oil. I've been using this for years. And this just helps me have nice hydration on my face. And I just kind of press it in. I don't go in my eyes or on my eyes. I go, I like, I literally wipe my nose. <laughs> because this just gets really dry here and then there. So once it's in there, then I do some rubbing. This is another new step, but I've been just started using this, using the City Beauty Lid Lifting Treatment. Just a tiny bit on my finger. And then I take this, I really should have it on my ring finger, so I'm gonna switch it. <laughs> and I just let it warm up between my fingers for just, I don't know, five to 10 seconds. And then you just tap it onto your eyelids. And this is supposed to help with lifting of your eyes. So try not to do it rubbing like pulling, but I do a, a tiny bit, but mostly just tapping it in. And my last step is a moisturizer. Now I will say this is a new one. So I will, I've used just a regular moisturizer. I've used V. I've used so many different kinds of moisturizers. I'm trying them all the time. I just got this one from City Beauty. This is the Barrier Rescue Firming Night Cream. So this is one of those you push it and it comes out the top. I just love that whole delivery system. I just think it's so hygienic. I don't know. I just really like it. What I would do normally is to just take this, put it on my face like normal. But one thing I am going to add is, because I get a lot of questions about this, is how I tan my face. So I'm going to do it at the same time. Yes, I tan my face with tretinoin on my face. With anything else on my face, you can do this. It's always your last step. I use Tenologist Self Tan Drops, and I'm in the medium color. The nice thing about this dropper is it literally will not let you do any more than this. It just won't. So what I do is I put this in my hand. Then I take the moisturizer off of here. I'll put it together and then I rub them together between my hands. This is the best way to do it. You will have a streak free tan. So I'm just going to rub it and this goes everywhere on your face, under, on my lids, on my neck, because you don't want any lines. So I will take it all the way around my neck, onto my ears. <laughs> Make sure that you get the tip of your nose and I just work it till I feel like it's all in. And then the last thing I do is I put it on the back of my hands and then I make sure I wash these really, really well. Like I will put soap here and I'll just kind of wash it here and try not to get too much on the back of my hands because this is the part that loses it the fastest because of course 
I'm washing my hands a lot. Okay, what am I doing differently after I did all of this? I wanted to do this skincare routine because this is what I have been doing. I mean, some of these things are a tiny bit new, like, like the firming cream and that eye cream, but all the other things I've been using for a while. And I wanted to show you that because that's what I have been using. Going forward, I'm actually switching from using my prescription of tretinoin. This is a kind of getting to the end of it. I'm actually going to be giving this to my daughter, Rachel, because she's been wanting to try it. I don't know why, but she's 22 and she feels she needs to start. I do hear that it's okay to start it. So I'm gonna let her use the rest of this bottle and I'm gonna teach her, or tube, and I'm gonna teach her how to start this very, very slow. But I am going away from this and I'm switching to agency. I'm not being sponsored or anything like that. I just decided I wanted to switch and to try it because I'm getting to the end of this and I would have had to have gone and seen my dermatologist to get another prescription for it. And I don't really wanna do that at this point. I think it would be great to just try agency. So I will fill you in after I use that for quite a while and my ins and outs of it and see if it's really worth the money or should I just go back to my dermatologist and I will let you know all the details when it's time. But I just wanted to let you know that at this point. If you would like to see my AM routine, I'm going to link that right here. So go there or I'll see you in another video. God bless.